What if I'm insane and taking me for granted? I would never come to forgive myself. Cause I ain't tryna be your ex. So don't call me if you ain't tryna vibe on my wave. I'm on top of my game. I'm on my wave, I'm on my wave, yeah. Hi, my name is Sofiato and this week we're hanging out at Light Art Club on this Get to Know Me series. I sing 90% of the time and what am I obsessed with? I am obsessed with Beyonce. I dislike the color green and i absolutely love chapel like um obsessively love chapel and pasta, pasta. yeah um family tradition is christmas is a very big thing a very big deal to us in our family so our tradition is to get together and go somewhere every every christmas while we live together um my favorite place to go on holidays anywhere with a swimming pool. I will swim till the ends of the day. Like I love to swim. So anywhere that is in proximity to a pool, I'll be there. The most daring thing I've ever done. Wow, what's the most daring thing I've ever done? When I was in primary, um, there was like limited amounts of food you could get obviously so that everyone can get food and so what we did was we went we snuck into the kitchen when everyone had on the kitchen had closed up and everything and so there was like a small fence so we climbed over the fence into the kitchen to the back of the kitchen and we took like my like a plastic a clear bag and we stuffed mandazis in the bag <laughs> and we closed and then we hid it somewhere so the next day we just came in God and we never got caught, you know. When you do things right, you never get caught. So. I'm a, um, I say I'm a clean person, but like, it's very, very easy for you to walk in on a messy room. Like, it'll be clean, it'll just be disorganized, like clothes everywhere. But, but it's clean, you can count on that, it's clean. Mm, so it's, it's clean. <laughs> It's clean. I love food. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like, you know, if you're feeling sad, get some food. If you're feeling happy, celebrate with some food. If, you know, like food is just everything. What's that to love about food? <laughs> love food. It's great, 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 great. My favorite childhood memory. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite childhood memory was when we were moving. Okay, when I was a kid, we moved houses a lot. Um, so my favorite childhood memory was one time we were moving and there were these big, big vans that were carrying things. And so they had these huge cartons, obviously, to carry bigger things. And I just, I thought it'd be funny to sneak into one of these boxes. <laughs> And um, so these guys are transporting me back and forth and then my mom realizes like where's my child like she's not in the old house and I can't see her in the new house and so everyone is going crazy and they're looking for me and I just surprised that I was in, in a cartoon in the back of a van. <laughs> I'm an ambivert. I'm, I'm like a little bit of both. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm in, the, I'm in the middle, I'm in between of an extrovert and an introvert, I'm an ambivert. I think it's half full because with me, like, I always feel content with where I'm at personally, but it being half full also means that there's always more to it, there's always more to put in. So, like, there's always room for growth, but 
where I'm at, I'm still okay and content with myself. That's where I'm at, with where I'm at. I speak English and I speak Swahili. Yeah, the little picture. I actually, um, with my friends, anytime I speak Swahili, it's such a big deal because I sound weird speaking Swahili. So, Sheng is also I know one word in Sheng though. I know, um, uh, I know what. I know Finji. That's where my knowledge of Sheng is. Wow, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Okay. <clears throat> He said, but hi guys, I'm here at like a club, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you go to my shop. No. Okay, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Comfort, comfort. Yeah, comfort, comfort. Comfort. How about you, Zain? When you call Hapa Light Art Club, Nana Tumayim Tao Tazama show here to yango shukran what songs are me um any r&b music or pop music um i like songs that are sung in um like an alto because it's easy to uh harmonize with them um sam smith is one of my go-to uh, when I want to do a cover of a song because he has the perfect voice to harmonize with and also, it's really easy to cover one of his songs. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what sum me up. And what about Kenyan music? Yes, I am Kenyan. Um, Kenyan music. I love Nikita, okay? I think she's great. <clears throat> okay. What if I'm insane and taking me for granted? I would never come to forgive myself. Cause I ain't trying to be your ex. So don't call me if you ain't trying to vibe on my wave. I'm on top of my game. I'm on my wave, I'm on my wave, yeah. Um, I listen to Zenia Manasse. Um, I also listen to a lot of Salty Soul. A lot, a lot of Salty Soul. Yeah, I think those are my top three Kenyan artists. And very, well, I guess that was the so generation. So. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, let me see. I just, I'm just really bad with lyrics. So, like, if anyone from there is watching, like, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to mess up your song. Okay. Nairobi, you and a coupe, piano ni paya, a kikuletea, and a niletea, when a cool affair, so to tuna share, or go pass on a Nairobi. I usually try to sing with my eyes open. I don't know what happens. Like, I can't sing with my eyes open. There's a time I was live with Nikita and um, she, we were, I was singing and the guys on her live were like, why can't she sing with her eyes open? I don't know. I don't know why I can't sing with my eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did I start singing? I always tell people, like, I've been singing from the womb. Like, I was kicking out singing from the womb. I, when I was younger, um, Okay, the house I I lived in when I was younger is the house I live in now. We moved a lot, but we always came back to the house I live in now. And so there's like the staircase, right? So what I would do is I would stand at the bottom of the staircase and I would pretend there was like a row of audience sitting on each stair of the staircase. And then I would just yell at them. Well, I thought I was singing, but I was yelling at them really in reality. All the time, all the time. And... I don't know, I don't know how my family keeps up, but they chose to have me, so. <laughs> um, I want to be featured with everyone. I want to be featured with Nikita, I want to be featured with So Generation. Give me a phone call, give me a beep beep. Um, <laughs> I wanna be featured, like, I wanna be everywhere. I wanna be everywhere, everybody just hit my line, hit my line, hit my line. <laughs> Um, 
Um, I have, my warning label would be laughs when serious. Like, you could tell me like a really, really sad story. Like, it's really, and I would just laugh. And it's not like, I don't mean any disrespect to you. Like, I, I am like, I'm really sorry, for, but I'm gonna laugh. Like, my fish died in 2020 and all I could do was laugh about it and I was telling my friend. Not that I didn't feel bad, like my fish, you know, but it's funny, like how can you die? Like <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> no, like it was like a pet fish in a fish bowl and everything. And then like one time, like it was just like swimming above. So I thought it was sleeping and I kept knocking on the fish bowl, like, and then it kept waking up. So I thought, okay, this is how fish sleep. And then I went to sleep and then I woke up and then I'm like, time to wake up. And it was just, it went to a better place. Yeah. And I laughed and then I fed it to my cat. <laughs> but my cat died recently. That, that was sad. I didn't laugh about that. That was sad. And now I'm on the hand to our kitten. So if you know anybody, just hit my line as well. Hit my line as well. Yeah. Who's my crush? Well, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a crush at the moment. I'll say that. I was crushing on someone. I don't have a crush at the moment though. Ooh, hmm, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> what would I want? You know them shoes, like, they were, like, really long and, like, they were lace. Like, you lace all the way up to, like, here, yeah, like, thigh high. But then it was, like, they were, like, sneakers. But, like, I don't know how to explain. They were, like just long and then they were like lace like i really like those shoes and i would love for them to come back to fashion but i just don't know where to find them but when i find them i will definitely definitely i take a good amount of time good amount of time well, I'll say what takes up most of my um, time is my skincare routine because I have to wait for everything to dry before I put on the next step. So, you know, I wash my face, I have to wait for it to air dry because I don't like using like towels because like they collect bacteria and I don't have, I don't want to wash them every day because I don't have time for that. And I also don't want to use paper towels because I feel like that's wasting. So I wait for them to air dry and then I'll put on my benzoyl and then I'll wait for them to dry and then I'll put on my vitamin C and then I'll wait and then I put my moisturizer and then I'll wait and the sunscreen. I hope you wear sunscreen every day, by the way, every day. But yeah, that's what takes up most of my time getting ready. It's my skincare routine. So roughly like 30 minutes to an hour. I also don't like being rushed. Like I don't like, like hurry up, get this. No, no, I want to do it my own time. So like I'll wake up like a few hours in advance so that i can have time to do whatever i need to do and like so i'll make my my food or whatever it is i need to eat and then i'll lay out like pick what i need to wear and lay it out and see does this look good and then go ask my mom a thousand times do you think this would look good and then after that i go shower and then i don't shower for a short time as well so that takes there and then the skincare routine as I said and then trying on and sometimes like you pick out something and then it look nice like in theory it look nice and then you put it out and then it's not working out so you also have to leave room for error you know but... I would wanna be like the villain like you know they're always so badass like yeah they're good people but like they're so badass like okay like a villain who turns to be like good towards the end like if you watch okay i'm not gonna spoil for you guys if you haven't watched fast and fierce the, the latest one but like like the villain like so you're so cool and you're so badass throughout the whole movie and then at the end you turn to be good so like they can't hate you you know that's how it'll be Who would I want to play me in a movie? Hmm. <sighs> Who would I want to play me in a movie? 
my who would I want to play me in a movie? Hmm. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. I think who I'd want to play me in a movie would be Oh my god, why am I forgetting her name? She is the one who okay. she was in this Netflix. Okay, but she's not black. Okay, Taraji. Taraji. My sense of smell. <clears throat> Actually, like right now, what I'm going through is I feel like my nose is breathing in too much oxygen. Like I don't know what that's about like i just feel like there's too much air and like a few days ago like i feel like it was one nostril that was breathing in air and the other one wasn't i had a cold because like they were painting the house um so like i feel like one nostril was breathing in and the other one wasn't and now i feel like both of them are like working hard like they're overcompensating so i think that sense is just a bit too strong well obviously food <laughs> um i also think about um i have a very strong relationship with god so i think about him a lot as well and i think about my mom like most of the things like when i'm doing something like it's like you know i want to make my mom proud of me she's like my everything and i really want to make her happy so I think about how much. Yeah. Mm, I would rather trade look looks for intelligence because I could go get my face done, you know, I could go I could go get it done, I could get it together, but if you're done you're like there's nothing going like you can't there's no like you know there's nothing you can get done to you know and a beauty is an enemy behold us so. <laughs> i'm actually about to go like when i leave here i'm going to go buy more food with my mom uh i buy clothes very often like if i see something and i think that's nice i'll definitely get it definitely so very often, very often. And this necklace is, I just like the letter in, like, it's nothing to <laughs> No, no, but then, like, uh, <clears throat> um, I don't wanna make it look like, um, you know, taken. I'm very single, like, what this is, is when I was in Nova in boarding, um, I had this friend called Susan, Susan Mangeshi, and, um, she had this necklace because everyone calls her Ngeshi, right? So, you know, such that. And, and we swapped. I had one that's called the that a letter T because my name is Sophia Tamara. And so, like, we swapped. So, this is N. Like, I've had it for a really long time. So, I don't want you guys to think that there's. It's just. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I've had. Uh, um someone leave notes when i was in primary someone leave notes um in my desk and they would buy me chocolate i don't know who they were like <clears throat> they would buy me chocolate and they would leave it there i've also had some not so secret admirers That's what I'm <laughs> yeah i write songs and then i post them on instagram right but this one i have never um so it's, 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 personal. it's personal it's a personal song okay okay you guys are really yeah, like really, you're yeah. sure yeah okay now so you ask me if i'm really are you ready, <laughs> are you ready? um i'm really okay i'm ready to turn it up I'm, I'm ready to turn it up okay okay let's go <clears throat> 24 reasons why i look up to the sky i'm thankful for you and i am grateful we had time i see you in the lights we used to shine so bright i i know this is goodbye i'm grateful we had time yay
ما جماعة Wow, you know I was feeling so cold when I came here and now I'm so hot. Okay. Majama, <clears throat> make sure you watch the video and go like and subscribe and share. Kwani ni kesho. Bye. That was amazing. That was nice.